Netflix had a big hit with The Witcher. I mean, there's no other way to put it. It was a big win for them because it did well with their digital ratings. It also went over very well with audiences. I personally loved it, but I'm a big Henry Cavill fan. But that notwithstanding, I thought the show was fantastic. And it really scratched that little sword and sorcery itch that a lot of the viewers had and were waiting for. Well, it looks like Netflix is going to try to go back to that sword and sorcery kind of uh, motif again, because it's just come out this morning. Uh, this is why this isn't off the top that Netflix is working on developing a Conan the Barbarian season uh, or series, I should say. Obviously, Conan has been around around uh, longer than The Witcher. But anyway, this is what it says over at Deadline. Netflix has put into development an epic live action series based on Conan, the iconic sword and sorcery character created by Robert E. Howard, uh, I have learned. I hear the project from Frederick Malmberg and Mark Wheeler's Pathfinder Media is the first in a deal between Netflix and Conan Properties International, owned by Malmberg's Cabinet Entertainment. The pack gives Netflix exclusive option to acquire the rights to the Conan Literary Library and develop works across TV and film, both live action and animated. Now, here's where it gets kind of interesting here. A search is currently underway, so they don't have a script or anything yet. They have no script. They have no they have nothing right now except a deal in place. A search is currently underway for a writer slash showrunner to pen the Conan uh, adaptation and and to try to find a director to helm the project. Malberg and Wheeler will serve as executive producers on the potential series through their Pathfinder media. So it looks like we're going back to Conan again. Now, listen, I have been a Conan fan. Since the original Conan days, with uh, by, by the original, I don't mean the 1930s novel. I, of course, mean the Arnold Schwarzenegger classic with that score by Basil Pulvaduras. Like that just iconic music. You got James Earl Jones in there. Loved it. Now, they took a crack at Conan again a couple of years ago. And it's pretty much universally hated. I didn't hate it, though. Personally, I didn't hate it. I actually thought it had some upside, particularly the first act. I thought the first act of the film was pretty good. And of course, that's the one that stars Jason Momoa and uh, Stephen Lang from Avatar fame as the main villain. And I thought Stephen Lang was great. I thought Jason Momoa made a very good Conan, as a matter of fact. And I thought the first act was pretty good. It kind of fell off the wheels. And at the end of the day, is it a great Conan movie? No, no, it's not. But I, I personally didn't hate it as much as most people. I am a big sucker for maybe it's my Dungeons and Dragons background or my Lord of the Rings fan, but I'm a big sucker for sword and sandal kind of movies. I really am. And sword and sandal kind of shows. Hell, I even used to watch, you know, the uh, the uh, Hercules Great Adventures, whatever that one was called. That was on TV and Xeno Warrior. I even used to watch that crap because I'm a sucker for that stuff. So I am instantly interested in a Conan. Of course, probably much like other properties, one of the key things here is going to be who do they get to play Conan? Because if you're playing Conan the Barbarian, there's no way around it. There is a physical type you have to get. Like you can't, you know, I always say, I don't care what actor you get for what role as long as it's a good actor, right? That's all that really matters. But you can't go out and get Daniel Day-Lewis Although he is the GOAT and the greatest actor of all time, you can't go out and get Daniel Day Lewis to play Conan the Barbarian. You, you just can't. I don't care how much, how many, I don't care how much horse steroids you pump into him. I don't care how much he works out for the next two years. You can't get Daniel Day Lewis to play Conan, right? So it's going to be very interesting to see where they go with Conan. I don't want a wrestler. I don't want Triple H. I don't want what I, I just, it'd just be interesting to see where they go. Now, of course, the one problem they may face is the whole notion of how is a Netflix audience going to respond to a Conan story in the era, era that we have The Witcher? You know, there used to be this joke that would go around that you know, uh, people just got mad at Lord of the Rings because it was a ripoff of Dungeons and Dragons, well, which, of course, was a joke because Dungeons and Dragons was around first. I wonder how many people who may not like truly be aware or have never really experienced that original Arnold Schwarzenegger movie might think ah, this kind of feels like a Witcher ripoff. I mean, they're very, very different stories, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that Netflix can sustain two kind of shows like this going on at the same time? Hey, I think if they're done right, why not? 
Like network television has 15 cop procedural shows and 12 hospital procedural shows going on at the same time. Why can't Netflix have a couple of sword and sandal movies? I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Jump down into the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.